what is your greatest tip for consistent success in life? That's what we're going to tackle. And I'm going to share with you the four keys to consistent success in all different areas of your life. There's four parts of this that I think are applicable to all of us, and, and they're not as obvious as you might think, okay? So here's the first thing, and this is one I think people overlook. The first key to consistent success is consistent education. Education is a multiplier. What is education? I mean, if you think about it, education is distilled knowledge. Like you can figure things out on your own. You can learn yourself. Like you can, you can go and, and figure out the knowledge that you need to have by trial and error. But how long is that going to take versus learning from someone who spent 10 years or 20 years already stumbling through it and they've gone through it and they've distilled those lessons down into education. Education is a great multiplier. And if you are going to have consistent success, it's because you're getting consistent education, not just I went to high school or I went to college, or I went to grad school, but that I am consistently learning that in a way that's related to whatever my current pursuit is. The second key for consistent success is consistent relationships. This is another one that I don't think we pay enough attention to. Relationships are a great multiplier. Uh, if you have the right relationship, that will open a door for you much faster than just trying to, to you know, to come in through some type of a, a, a cold, either a cold call or, or just like cold, coldly introducing yourself. What you need is relationships. Relationships knock down doors. Relationships are this great accelerant to success in any industry, in any goal, in any company, in any pursuit. There are certain key relationships that you can develop that will help you get there faster. So you need to consistently develop those relationships. The way you do that is by consistently adding value to those people's lives. And you have to give first. The, the key to relationships is to build them before you need them. The third key to consistent success in life is consistent discipline. Consistent discipline. Uh, this was, in fact, the entire subject of my first book, Take the Stairs, uh, which was, is my best-selling book. Um, and there is a, a key distinction between discipline and work ethic. You see, discipline is doing the thing you know you should be doing even when you don't feel like doing it, i.e. take the stairs. It's not a, Discipline isn't so much about volume as much as it is about precision and, and facing your fear and committing because in any pursuit of success, there are certain things that need to be done that you won't want to do that we don't like doing. Most people can't get themselves to do that. Most people take the escalator. Most people look for the shortcut. Most people gravitate towards the path of least resistance. But the people who consistently achieve success which and, and the reason they do it in almost any endeavor in any different industry or any different goal they go after is because they develop the habit of discipline, which is identifying the few activities that actually create results. And that is how it is. In almost any pursuit, there are only a few activities that actually drive results. The challenge is a lot of times those are the activities we least like doing and we least want to do. But if you can get yourself to do those key few activities, it will lead to consistent success. And the fourth and final uh, key to consistent success is consistent work ethic. Now, this one's probably not as unexpected as the others, but if you want consistent results, then you need consistent work habits. There is simply no replacement for being willing to outwork everybody else. And it's not necessarily a competition of what other people are doing. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying that you are willing to pay the price for success. I don't think that hard work is the key to success. I think hard work is simply the price of admission. But if you want consistent success, you have to consistently work hard. It's a given. It's a matter of fact. If you're not willing to do that, 
you shouldn't even bother showing up. Like why, why even, why even make the goal? Like why even come to the game? Because you're automatically out before it begins. So that one is a given consistent work habits, consistent results come from consistent habits, consistent work ethic. So those are four keys, three that I think are fairly unexpected, one that is a little more obvious, but one that we can't let go of and not include. If you want consistent success, focus on consistent education, consistent relationships, consistent discipline, and consistent work ethic.